everybody, Intuitive Edge here. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. So today I want to take a look at what happened in Bowling Green, Kentucky over the weekend. Senator Rand Paul's office building caught fire and I'm really curious. Some are saying that this looks really suspicious, but was it a suspicious fire? Was it naturally caused? Will anybody be arrested? Will anything come of this? So those are some of the questions that I have. So I wrote them down and I'm going to shuffle up the cards and I'll be right back and we'll get started. I'm using my Aquarian Tarot deck and I have my 10 questions that I wrote out here. So we'll just go through each of these cards. I shuffled up and the first card out is on the question of what caused the fire. This is the Eight of Wands, Eight of Rods in this deck. But this is a card of things happening quickly and swiftly. And so I'm thinking with that, whatever caused this fire made it explode. It probably went very, very quickly from whatever sparked it or whatever caused it. Next card is, was this fire intentionally caused, meaning arson, at the moon card? Now this is a major arcana. The moon can indicate the veil, things hidden. Also, it can mean deception. And with it being a major arcana on that question, I'm thinking it could be. And perhaps the moon being maybe a little bit of deceitful mo motives, perhaps, with that. So I'm leaning that it could be intentionally caused. But let's see what the rest of the cards say. The third card out is... If this was arson, who was involved? Well, interesting to have the Ten of Pentacles on that question. This is a card of wealth, affluence. It could have been somebody... You know, with that Ten of Pentacles, the card also indicating, well, wealth, but also that aspect of money or things of value makes me wonder if this could have been somebody perhaps being paid a sum. Maybe there was a hit person that decided to take a little bit of money and cause this fire. There could be some sort of payoff or something like that involved with this. Will anyone be arrested for causing the fire? Well, uh, this is interesting. We have the Page of Cups. This is a messenger card, but it's also a card of things, mm, maybe a little bit fishy going on with that. So there might be maybe a scapegoat or perhaps whoever, if this was truly arson, whoever did it, maybe they slip under the radar or maybe there's somebody else that gets implicated, but there's something fishy regarding that question. So let me see the next question out is, was Rand Paul targeted as some suspect? And this is the card we have on that, the magician. This is a major arcana. And I'm thinking with that card there that yes, I definitely think that Rand Paul was the target of this fire. Uh, maybe not him personally, but torching his office maybe sending a message to him. So next question is, what if any was the motive behind this fire? Now, this is super interesting. We have the emperor. Uh, that card right next to the last question and the magician card on that makes me think that Rand Paul pissed off the wrong people. Um, because this is the card of power, control, authority, and that on the question of what is the motive behind it, this is like, I, I'm sorry, this is like sending a message and pissing off the wrong person. That's all, that's just what I feel with that. That's that emperor, power, control, sending a message. All right, uh, what do we need to know about this fire? Now that's interesting. 
We have the Ten of Cups on that. This is a really positive card. And I'm wondering if something actually kind of good is going to come of this. Maybe that's an indication that not everything was lost. That it's not, you know, I know that the building, it sounds like, was the roof collapsed. And it sounds like really bad. But maybe something good will come of this because that's a really positive card. The next card out. Was this fire the result of natural causes only? Okay, so forget the arson thing. Was this just, you know, some faulty wiring somewhere? Something caught fire? It was kind of an old building. But we get the devil on that. I don't think so. Not with the devil on that. I think it definitely with that card indicates that this was not natural. Not a natural fire. Okay. So what is the outcome for this situation? We have the Fool card. A card of new beginnings. So regardless of this, there are new beginnings afoot for this. Perhaps the other businesses that were sharing that building, whether they get displaced, have to build or move someplace else, there's new beginnings for everyone all the way around. And the future for Rand Paul is the last question. And actually, considering what he's been through, this is a really positive card. It's the Ace of Pentacles. This is the card of new beginnings. New beginnings, perhaps even financially, he may get some sort of financial assistance or bonus through this situation. Um, so it's actually really good and positive, Ace of Pentacles. So I think he will be okay through this. Uh, but as far as getting whoever did this arrested, I don't know that that's actually going to... Maybe we'll never know. It'll never be known to the rest of us out here who really did this or who really was responsible. But we'll have to monitor that situation and see. Perhaps the uh, investigators there will get some leads and maybe they will call it an arson because I certainly think that it was. Um, but we'll have to see on that. All right, so I thought I would tune in to any intuitive messages that I'm getting about this fire. And I think that, I do think this was not a natural fire, as I mentioned. I stopped the video for just a moment to, to kind of tune into my own feelings on this and tune into that area. I was being drawn to the back of the building. I don't know if there's an alley back there or just a little narrow parking lot or something, but I'm seeing like a, like a green dumpster. I think that the fire started near or possibly in that dumpster. I think that the dumpster was originally located at a different end of the building and it was moved and I do think it was moved more in closer proximity to Rand Paul's office on the inside. And I do sense that there was some type of accelerant possibly used and some type of ignition. I'm seeing like a, I don't know, it looks like a trail cam or a little device that was like hooked to the side of the building. I'm not sure what this is. I think though that the fire started in the dumpster and maybe there's like an accelerant that once the fire got going, if it caught that, then it would go up somehow up. That's what I'm sensing. <laughs> I'm seeing this little device or accelerator thing. And I don't know if they use like gunpowder or something like that, but maybe gasoline. There was some sort of accelerant, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I do sense the dumpster was moved. So perhaps in the investigation, uh, they may want to determine if that dumpster was moved because I think it was. And that could indicate, that could help the investigators that it was indeed not naturally caused. So something near the dumpster, okay. All right, that's all I have for this. Thanks everybody for joining me. We'll catch you next time. Bye for now.